Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Cody. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Up next, we've got Daniel in here. He is a new dad, so congratulations to him. Uh, unfortunately, Harrison came a little bit earlier than planned, so he is premature, but um, him and his partner are spending most of their time at the hospital right now. So Daniel has developed this wonderful tension all the way through here because he's holding him like this, then staring down at him. Uh, this is a pretty common problem that I see with new parents. So stay tuned so you can see how I treat it. Let's get cracking. Alrighty. I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready. Yeah. Uh, first, let's recap um, and talk about this neck issue and why you're having such a bad neck at the moment. So, recently had a baby, so I've been doing a lot of this holding <laughs> and <laughs> looking down. And looking down. Continuously. Yeah. And um, yeah, since then, it hurts all through here. I've tried yep. a few different um, like gels and deep heat and all the rest of it. Yep. Works for a while it's there, and then as soon as it wears yep. off again, that's, that's it. <laughs> This is one of the most common things that I see in new parents because especially as a male, what you're going to do is you're not going to have to worry about switching sides. So you're going to find your comfortable arm, which in your case is your right side. Yeah. And then you're going to hold him on that side every single time. And then because he's so adorable, you're going to keep looking down. And I see this all the time, neck strain in new parents because you're holding him, looking down and going, oh, he's so cute. Oh, literally, he's literally. so adorable. <laughs> and you, you put yourself in that position yeah. for long periods of time. Yeah. So normally, could you imagine if you were working at your desk? So you're working at your desk. Could you imagine going like this? The whole day. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right? We don't do it ergonomically because no. we're more aware of it. Yeah. But w when you're holding your baby. And you're protecting the baby, not yourself. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah. So yeah. this is super common. Yeah. Okay. Um, any headaches? A little bit. Like mainly at the, literally the bottom of my head, like where it connects to the yep. neck through there. Yep. That occiput region. Yeah. Yep. Um, and it's, yeah, not, yes, a little bit of headaches. Okay. Let me just check a few things first, and then we'll kind of take it from there. I can even see, it's interesting, your head is actually leaning off to the right-hand side. Can you see that in the yeah, mirror? Yeah, I can actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, You're just like, like this constantly I'm like trying now. not to hurt myself by going that way. <laughs> so maybe when you're holding... Harrison. Harrison, when you're holding him, you know, maybe now just mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So at least that will help to balance you out a little bit. It's still not ideal to be cranking your head down into a position like that. Yeah. But at least if you're kind of doing both sides, it's not as bad. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. And that is, I mean. That's the spot. <laughs> yeah. That's also your first rib that's sitting really high. Uh, so the problem is, is you're cranking this all up like this and then going like that. So you're compressing that. Uh, so you're compressing nerve bundles, you're compressing blood vessels, but also you're completely shortening and contracting the muscles. Uh, so then they're going to clamp down. The thing is, is right through here, you can actually feel right there is where your first rib sits. Uh, People actually don't think they have ribs that high. Right. But you do. T1 sits right here and that first rib wraps around. Uh -huh. So I can feel that the scalene muscles that are all attached through here and go all the way up to there as well, yeah. they're yanking on that and just pulling it up. Right. So that's why it's also then important to kind of make sure that you're stretching and moving it around because otherwise it's just going to keep doing this and you're going to walk around like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to do shoulder depression test. Is there any pain or discomfort if I do it's that? Or just a stretch? It's like a stretch through there mainly. Okay. And you feel it right up at the right, top. Right here, yeah. yeah okay. How about then if I go like that? Um, I can feel it, but on the other side still. <laughs> opposite side, okay. Yeah. yeah, so we just need to kind of get that to open up for you, reset everything, take that pressure off right here, which is probably causing that headache as well. <laughs> and then everything should settle down. So first what I'll do is the SIS machine on there. Yeah. I'm also gonna use the cold laser and put that right up here mm -hmm. to help dissipate that headache. Okay. So we're gonna be doing that first and then we'll give you a few adjustments. Perfect. All right, let me know when that's strong enough. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, good. Then I'll just grab the laser for you as well. And there we go. Okay, good. All right, relax there. Thank you. Okay, here we go. So I need to bring the first rib down as well. 
this is one of my favorite adjustments, so thank you for bringing this one in. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> but I prefer you don't come in every single time with this. Yeah. Here we go. All you have to do is just completely let that relax. There you go. Yeah, that was it. That was it. <laughs> nice, back down to neutral for me. Oh, way better. That's where that first rib should be. Yeah. And already, your head is so much more... Well, you don't have your glasses on. Uh, no, can you see that far I away? Can't, I can see a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. So now you can actually see. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. Still not quite 100% but you're close. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this side down to even you. Okay. Down like that, that's it. And we're gonna go just like that. Ooh, try to let it relax. That's it, that's all I needed. Now you can slip your glasses back on again for me. Yeah, that's much better. It feels better. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was so great seeing Daniel come in. And of course, that was one of my favorite adjustments that we got to do for him. I know that he's going to be feeling a lot better so he can go back to the hospital and spend all of his energy and effort helping Harrison. So um, thank you. If you liked that video, uh, please follow me, subscribe, hit the like button, make some comments. And uh, I look forward to showing you the next one. Go see a chiropractor.